this is a video on the progress of my golf swing theory. It's 2015 and I got a golf shirt on. So, but it's like really cold out right now. So I'm wearing this hoodie just to keep warm. My muscles are kind of cold and uh, it's a little bit more difficult when you're a little bit tense when you're golfing in the winter time. But what I'm planning on doing in this video is I'm gonna hit a uh, left-handed golf club and a right-handed golf club just to show the progress of my mechanics and stuff but I'm not a left-handed golfer I'm a right-handed golfer but I'll go ahead and hit some golf shots right here I just want to show the ease I just want to show the ease of the golf swing how little effort that I'm putting putting into it you know I'm able to square up the club because I understand the mechanics so much better that I can just let the club do like all the work and I could put the minimal amount of effort and the minimal amount of force and get the maximum out of it and square the face the easiest too. So it, it's a lot easier for me to square the club face now because I understand even more de detail down to like the centimeter of like what's happening uh, during the golf swing. But I'll go ahead and hit some golf shots so you can watch my swing. And how little effort that it is, just like that. And that just went a pretty long way. That one went a pretty long ways. It went down there by the neighbor's house. I have to hit it a little bit different angle this time. But here this goes. Maybe I'll hit a little higher. There we go. That one a little bit higher and softer. And what I'll do is go ahead and switch to my right-handed swing. This is my natural swing right here. There, that's my natural swing. I think the wind is blowing this way, so they're going a little bit further than normal. But I'll go ahead and so that you can see the ball flight, I'm just going to do like a shorter chip. And I'm going to put very, very little effort into it too. I'm going to try to put the least amount of effort into this. So I'm just going to go like this and hit it and just put very little effort into it at all. Let the club square it all up like that. And you can see how little effort that I actually am putting into this. And you got to remember, that's my left-handed golf swing. So my golf theory is making a lot of progress. And that's this section of the video for now. It's kind of getting cold. But I just wanted to show a couple golf swings on there to show my swing theory, how it's coming along. One last thing I wanted to say was, if you think about it, there was a time, there was a time where people actually thought that the ball started on the path. So there was a time where people, when they went to hit a draw, they thought that if the club path went out to the out to the side, like for a right-handed golfer, they thought that if the club path was going out to the right. The ball would start to the right and then there are professional golfers on the PGA Tour who had that thought in their head and then they would hit a draw it wasn't that the thought in their head lined up with reality it was just that they knew what a draw felt like and they had the thought in their head of the path going out to the right making the ball draw and you know the reality and what it felt like they didn't line up but because they knew what it felt like they would do it but they had the wrong thought in their head but my theory the way it's gonna work is it lines up the reality of what's taking place with with what it actually feels like so I'll just hit just a few more here just to show my swing
very, very nice and smooth. And it, this is lefty. I am not a left-handed golfer. I'm absolutely, positively not a left-handed golfer. So... But you can see how nice and smooth that is. That, that's that's a good ways, you know, for a wedge to just take a nice smooth swipe. And it's winter time and everything. And then here's my... I can hit right-handed so easy. I've been hitting right-handed and shot 63 uh, before. That's my lowest score. I shot it twice. I shot a 29 on a par 36 front nine on my golf course at home. And uh, so... This just comes natural right here. I don't even have to think about the mechanics because I know exactly what it feels like, you know, and I could put like little to no effort into it. But whenever, whenever I first started doing this, you know, I switched over to hitting left-handed. And man, you know, even though I could do it naturally the other way, you know, once I switched to left hand, I couldn't do it. You know, it was very, very difficult, but now I got to the point where my mechanics, I know them so well, I'm able to transfer them from one side to the other. And it's a lot easier hitting golf shots left-handed now. I don't know if that's in the camera. I'll move to a different place. There we go. Yeah, you can see how nice and smooth that is. Just there's no effort anymore so that, that leads me to believe that uh, the theory that I came up with it lines up with the reality of what's taking place because I could just I could just practically let the golf club go and I let the club do all the work and I feel as though my left-handed swing and my right-handed swing are identical to one another but there's my golf shirt I got my golf shirt on but it's like really really cold right now and I'm shivering and everything but that's my golf video and I'll try to get more information out or something or make more videos to help golfers in the meantime. Here I want to show some more chip shots, but I just want to do some short chip shots so that you can see the ball flight whenever I'm chipping here. But you can see how e easy the club flows through impact and you know I'm just I'm using just my fingertips to control the club you know it's just very very little to no effort at all because I know exactly how that club face squares up I could basically just throw the club into the ball and it squares itself up so here's some chip shots Yeah, you can see how little effort that went into the hole. That went into the hole. <laughs> I got a hole over there in the ground, and I think that thing just went into that golf hole. But you can see how I hit it, and then, like, I let the club do all the work. See that right there? And then I'll just, I'll do it right-handed. Just to show you, I can do it right in the two. Just very, very effortless. This grip's a little wet. Yeah, very, very effortless. Like, whenever I go to teach this golf theory, I'm going to teach people to golf left-handed or the opposite way first so that it, so they understand the mechanics and then, then I'll let them hit uh, golf balls the other way, you know, the normal way. Yeah, very, very, very little effort. Golf is not, golf's not that difficult. But the thing is, you've got to know exactly what the club is doing uh, in order to do it like that. It, it might seem like it's easy, but I have a very specific thought in my head of like what I'm doing right now. So I'm just letting, letting it happen. And 
my thoughts line up with the reality of the physics that's taking place. So I'm able to control the club directly with my thoughts because my thoughts line up with the actual reality of what's taking place. So that's what you got to be able to do. So here goes my final chip shot here. Yeah, and they're all pretty good. Uh, I had one go into the hole, and the other three are like right there in a grouping very close to each other. And you could see that like it took very little, little to no effort at all, both ways, left-handed and right-handed. But my left-handed swing is getting a lot more natural and smooth. And uh, I think I'll be able to help like a lot of golfers but I don't want to give out my secret because I don't make money right now and I want to make some money off of this because I put a lot of hard work into it. So I have to make sure that it's complete. I could put it into written form or into videos and stuff whenever I teach it. And I just want to make sure that I got it absolutely right because the thing that I hate is all the confusion out there about the golf swing. And I just want to have something that people can have that when they go out to golf, you know, they could work on it and then accomplish something you know because if you if you're working on something that doesn't line up with the reality of what's taking place it's kind of you might as well be thinking of pink polka dot elephants while you swing because if the thought that you're using to hit the golf ball doesn't line up with the reality that's basically what you're doing you have a thought that doesn't line up with the reality so you sh you could hit a golf ball and think of pink polka dot elephants and it goes straight and then you'll be thinking like oh because I thought of that or whatever like that's what makes the ball go straight <laughs> but it doesn't well that's the end of my video for right now I don't want to ramble on too long it's getting cold out here